Hey all, it's Casper here, just wanting to share my method to get around 100,000 souls every 15 minutes. Uh, also for those interested, how I get to Nido's area quickly. So, without further ado... Sorry about the crappy video quality. I don't capture gameplay often enough to shell out the money for an HDMI capture card, so what you are seeing is my crappy old capture card that only works with composite cables. Okay, so I'm start here at Firelink. Um, I like to use the Shadow Gear uh, only because it lets me run pretty fast without having to uh, be completely naked. So I'm gonna set off. Oh, this method, by the way, uh, normally I took a different path, but normally, um, yeah, let me change a better weapon. Normally, uh, right here is going to be a Primordial Serpent that will eat your items for souls. Where I'm going to uh, take you, you can farm humanity very quickly, and he eats each humanity for a thousand souls. So that's kind of a, you know, on the top kind of thing. Let me run through this. Oh, uh, I, by the way, I'm doing this in New Game Plus, so the guys in here hit a lot harder. Let me run through here. Like I'm drunk, apparently. Oh, you bastard. Okay, I like to tag all the bonfires on the way down uh, to Nido's area, because you never know what goes on here. It's really easy to get pushed off a cliff or something. Use all your souls. So hit each one of these. Uh, for this, the spells you definitely want to bring with you, if you have sorcery skill, is Fall Control and Cast Light. Completely invaluable for this area. No matter how fast you're going through it. Alright, kill these guys because they like to follow. Ugh. Unfortunate thing about this Shadow Garb, though, is that it doesn't do much for the poise, so you can get knocked back and smacked around pretty easily. Alright, this little walkway here. Right, this is the first place. This is after you've gone through it, of course, once and turned all the slabs over. Uh, use fall control. Then you can easily fall down to this little area. And just behind it, when you fall that way, you're going to see a little ledge. Jump down onto that. And then jump down this direction to make it to the pit with all the wheels. Avoid those. Especially with something with light armor. Uh, in New Game Plus, these guys will kill you actually quite quickly, so keep eyes on your back. Okay, jump down into the pinwheel area. And we are now in Giant's Tomb. Go ahead and use Cast Light. You can also use the, um, what is it, the Sun Maggot? Helm, if you've got that, same effect. I run by every guy here, basically. Have yet to get hit, too. Uh, even with heavy armor on, so you can bypass all this stuff. Alright, down here to the left is my next bonfire. Gonna hit that. All right, at this point, I like to change into heavier gear. Um, mainly because there's some skeleton dog or something up in this path that you have to kill. Uh, in New Game Plus, there is, at least in my experience, there's one move they can do that can one-shot me even in this um, Black Iron, which I don't have all the way to plus five on all of it, but two of the pieces are plus five, one is plus four, and one is plus three, so I think. I like to use sorcery just to give me some distance. Oh, bastard still got me. Okay. I like to switch back to the shadow, because now you can basically run by everything else that's going to be coming at you here. 
for those that don't play this area much, it uh, it can be confusing, especially without the light. But, um, you know, once you navigate it enough, it gets pretty easy to know where stuff is. Okay, avoid everything. All right, going to go to the next third, or I'm sorry, the third bonfire coming up. Make sure I set myself there. Okay. Run past the dog thing on the ledge. If you hug the right wall, chances are he won't hit you if you're wearing something fast. I just fall straight down this ledge, um, and they're usually too slow to keep up. Every once in a while, they will just basically fall off the side of the cliff. So, you know, free souls for you. Just like happened there. Make my way down to Nito's area. Okay, got these two pillars coming up. Here's the first one. Take it down. Here comes the second one. Okay, right behind him on this ledge, there's a big skeleton archer. Anyone that's been down here knows who I'm talking about. You can bypass these two big skeletons as well. Um, I just run normally, not sprinting, towards it with my shield up, and then run right between them, just like that. Okay. The archer will continue shooting at you. Um, get rid of this stuff. Um, this area that I'm breaking all the bones down, if you go up there, uh, even just for a second, the archer will eventually lose interest in you. I'm going to change back to my... I changed back to my black iron. And I'm going to kill this little guy first. Okay. There's the source of the experience. Okay, got these pinwheel-type demons. Um, got to take them out. What I like to do is I just, you know, snipe them from a distance using poison arrows so I can watch them slowly die. Because I hate them so very much. One by one. Uh, do that in any way that you like to kill these guys. Um, clear the room, including the one by the white titanite slab. And then uh, I'll just fade out and fast forward. Okay, pinwheels are dead. So I'm going to switch to my Quaylox Fury sword. There we go. And the reason why I like to use this sword uh, is because it's got a really great uh, sweeping attack, uh, if you use the strong attack, that will take care of a lot of these little baby fetus skeleton demon things uh, at once. And some weapons just don't do well towards the ground. This is the area that I do basically my soul farming in. Right, just this kind of little circle right here. And let me show you real quick where in relation to where you came in here that area is. Right up there, that ledge on the right, that is where I was shooting the pinwheels. So, basically what I do, you know, is I just perpetually kill these guys. Um, what's great about this area is these little dudes will respawn without having to go to a bonfire. So, they'll just keep coming and coming and coming, and it basically gets you a whole bunch of souls per hour over time. And... Well, let me show you um, the rings that I use for this. Of course, the covetous serpent, silver covetous serpent ring, and the ring of the evil eye. That basically makes it so I perpetually get healed every time I kill one of these, and I'm also getting the soul bonus from the ring. So basically, what I do, I just run around, get these guys to spawn, and strong attack, and rinse and repeat, keep going. Uh, these guys drop a whole bunch of humanity as well, uh, especially when you get your soul level up to, a, if you get it up to at least 30. Uh, with the gold covetous ring, um, you'll see quite a lot of drops here. Why that's good and why it's a bonus for this area is, like I was saying before, you can take those souls. It's really quite fast to get to 99, and you can take them back to King Seeker Frampt, and each soul is worth 1,000 if you get them to eat them. So that would be 99,000 souls just for killing these guys. A little bonus is, I mean, if you get low on um, health here, then you can just use the souls. They're going to pop up fairly quickly anyway. In this case, I don't have the gold covetous ring on, so not many soul drops. Oops, I mean humanity drops. And doing this for about two and a half hours will net you one million souls. Not counting what you can sell to Frant. So come get rich.
Hope it's been helpful.